Yamada Naoko is one of the most renowned female directors in the anime industry. She was only 25 when she started her directorial career with the K-ON TV series in 2009. Since then, she has directed many accomplished works at Kyoto Animation, such as Tamako Market, Koi no Katachi, and Listo Aoitori. In this video, I would like to analyze Yamada's style through her works. I have picked three films that characterize her style. Tamako Love Story, Koi no Katachi, and Listo Aoitori. Through these works, we can observe her directorial prowess and her outstanding contributions to the anime industry. Tamako Love Story, released in 2014, is the sequel to Tamako Market, which was broadcast in 2013. Unlike Tamako Market, which focuses on daily events happening around the Usagiyama shopping street, Tamako Love Story revolves around two protagonists, Kitashira Kawa Tamako and Oji Mochizo. The story proceeds as Oji confesses his feelings to Tamako, and Tamako feels lost as she does not know how to react. In the film, Yamada's style is quite noticeable. The first characteristic is subtle movement. Unlike many other anime studios that primarily focus on dynamic movements and action, Kyoto Animation is known for depicting delicate movements, and Yamada takes it a step further. Facial expressions are exceptionally well represented, and even the slightest movements do not go unnoticed. As a result, every scene feels natural and vigorous, which helps the audience sympathize with the characters on a deeper level. The second characteristic is the extensive use of close-up shots. Yamada widely uses close-up shots to establish the atmosphere and express subtle movements. For instance, the scene where Tamako and Mochizo have a conversation on stepping stones includes many close-up shots that emphasize the protagonist's emotional states. The third characteristic is the minimal use of background music and sound effects. In Tamako Love Story, background music and sound effects are kept to a minimum, and the only thing the audience can hear is the voice acting for the most part. Sometimes, even the voice acting is absent, which makes it akin to a silent film. By doing so, Yamada helps the audience focus on the interactions among characters. Also, it is easy to understand what is going on even when there is no sound thanks to detailed movements and ingenious cinematography. Koe no Katachi, released in 2016, is based on a manga series by Ooima Yoshitoki. In the film, Ishida Shoya, the protagonist, tries to understand Nishiyama Shoko, a girl with an innate hearing disability through sign language. Here, Yamada's style is quite noticeable. Even more so than Tamako Love Story, Yamada emphasizes delicate movements. Facial expressions and gestures are exquisitely depicted, and every action is portrayed so elegantly that it feels as if the characters were actually there. Since the movie is about hearing disability and communication, Yamada's focus on delicate movements is spot on. Similar to Tamako Love Story, close-up shots are extensively used throughout the film. For example, in the scene where Ishida and Nishiyama talk to each other after Ishida wakes up from an accident, Yamada utilizes close-up shots to express their emotions and emphasize their connection. Another example would be the scene where Ishida and Yuzuru, Nishiyama's younger sister, are walking in the rain. In this scene, close-up shots are used to articulate Ishida's guilt as he was responsible for bullying Nishiyama in elementary school. Last but not least, background music and sound effects are kept to a minimum. Like Tamako Love Story, the audience only hears the faint sound of background music and sound effects for the majority of the time, and sometimes the voice acting is replaced by sign language. However, the audience can easily understand the plot thanks to beautifully detailed movements and subtle touches. In addition, they help reinforce the idea of talking through sign language since people with hearing disabilities would feel the same when they are having a conversation. Listo Aoi Tori, released in 2018, is a side story of the Hibike Euphonium series. Compared to the main series, 
leads to Aoitori is different in atmosphere and cinematography. The main series has a lot of dynamism with orchestral and marching band performances. In contrast, leads to Aoitori focuses more heavily on the dramatic aspect, centering around two protagonists, Yoruiz Kamizore and Kazaki Nozomi. Here, Yamada's style is unmistakable. Similar to her previous works, Yamada articulates delicate movements. Even the most basic movement, such as walking, is superbly depicted. For instance, the scene where Yoroizuka and Kazaki go to school demonstrates Yamada and Kyoto Animation's prowess. Walking to school is such a mundane activity that it is generally impossible to portray anything meaningful in works of art. However, Yamada makes the scene stand out by focusing on leg movements. Yoroizuka is walking in a relaxed manner as she slowly moves her legs, while Kazaki is walking quite energetically, taking big strides every time she moves her legs. These subtle touches help elevate the quality of the work, which I find extremely well done. And like Yamada's previous works, the extensive use of close-up shots and the minimal use of background music and sound effects are noticeable. Close-up shots help establish the atmosphere and portray the character's emotional states, while a lack of background music shifts the focus to dialogue and gestures, so that the audience can enjoy the dramatical aspects more in depth. Over the years, Yamada Naoko has produced some of the best anime works of all time. Her extraordinary talents as a director could shine thanks to the fantastic talents at Kyoto Animation. Thanks to her, I have met some of my favorite anime works of all time, for which I am eternally thankful. Thank you for watching.